Today's speed paint will be of Dwight Ennis from Poldark. Yes, Dr. Dwight Ennis. Hello everyone, I'm Jasmine from Jazz Draws Art and today I will be doing a speed paint of Dr. Dwight Ennis from the show Poldark. I have done a drawing of Aiden Turner as Ross Poldark and now I am back with Dwight. Uh, when I did my Ross speed paint, I hadn't yet watched the show Poldark, but due to one of my friends having it and I got started and then um, watching a bit of it from what I could on Amazon Prime and then renting the channel so I could watch the rest of it, I have now watched all of Poldark and I have to say it is a fantastic show even though Sometimes it can really make you mad because you can get really mad at the characters, but there are so many reasons to love certain characters and overall I really enjoyed the show and I'm really grateful to have watched it all and now I can come back and actually share my opinions on the characters and of course, as you can see here, I'm drawing Dwight Ennis. He is my favorite character personally from Poldark, played by... Luke Norris and I just absolutely fell in love with this character. He was so well done, he was so well played, he was well spoken, he was the most logical I'd probably say out of all the characters on the show and I just, he was a great sounding board, he's a great friend, he's a great person, I just, everybody, everybody should love Dwight if they don't already. Um, you guys can have your personal favorites, that's totally fine, but I just, I absolutely adored Dwight Ennis and I thought what better than to draw him. So as you can see I did a quick sketch and my computer was really overheating and so instead of showing you the extra hours that I spent trying to get to this point I just thought I'd cut it short to this. I did work on this drawing um, for multiple hours for about two days. It took me a while to get through it because uh, with the certain systems I had running, it could make it really slow. So it did take me some time, but I tried my best to film all of which I could and still make it an interesting and put together video for you guys. Now, this was a little tricky because I felt like I got his face slightly off and that it's really hard for me to do blondes for some reason. It's just easier for me to do dark hair because you don't have to worry so much about shadow and highlights are easy, but when it comes to, he's kind of like a dirty blonde, like brown, more brown in the roots, and then in the shadow it's more brown, but when the light hits it, it's blonde in certain seasons, he's more blonde. So I was trying my best to figure it out and I chose one of my favorite pictures of him with the sunlight glowing. I just thought, you know, it really kind of frames how I feel about him. His character is like sunshine to me. He's just probably one of, one of the sweetest characters I have seen and I absolutely loved his portrayal. Um, I won't compare this show to Outlander because personally Outlander is more my speed, more my thing, but as its own thing, just because I know a lot of people that watch Poldark also watch Outlander and they like both and I do too. I just yeah, I think Outlander's a little bit more to my liking in certain like aspects, like Jamie Fraser will never be top for me, but nonetheless, I very much enjoyed the show Poldark. I watched it a few times, not all the way through, but once all the way through in certain episodes more than once. I had to say that I, I really like Dwight's character for the reasons that he's very humble, you know, he actually does what he wants to do because he knows it's the right thing to do. He genuinely wants to help people. He wants to make things right, even if, you know, he doesn't get along with them as he should, you know, it's an oath. But he, for everyone, I think, was like someone to go to for help. And they even showed when he had his moments of weakness when he was struggling and having people come to him to help him. I really, really enjoyed that. I loved his friendship with Ross and Demelza, and I loved his relationship with Caroline. 
I think they're an adorable couple and I love seeing him help her dog, Horace, and all of it. I, just so you know, if I say any spoilers, you can mute this video now, just so you don't hear anything that spoils it. But otherwise, yes, I highly recommend watching Poldark. Um, if you get frustrated with characters easily, um, you're in for a wild ride. I did have a few moments where with Ross that I did get pretty mad and a few other characters, but in the end, you know, I came to really love and appreciate the dynamic everybody had going on. I'd have to say like my favorite moments of Dwight are definitely like when he and Caroline got married and when he'd come and talk to Demelza. I really loved their friendship so much because they could both understand Ross and like give each other perspective and help each other out with certain situations. It just turned into like a beautiful relationship and I I really hope someday I can have a friendship like that. Now as for the drawing, I did struggle with it because again I felt like I made his face slightly too square. I think that with what I had to do it's definitely an improvement from when I did my Ross drawing but I may have reached myself a little bit further than I'm used to, which is good. You gotta learn. You gotta reach out further past what you think you can do to make yourself better. But I really, really did have to play with uh, reflection lighting, bounce lighting, background rim lighting, highlights, how much is going to affect the color of one side of his face to the other, how the shadows are gonna affect it. And the part that was really hard for me was getting the eye's reflection and shape to be right because one side of his face is darker, yes, so it was hard to make it look like one eye wasn't just bigger than the other because if you shade it too much it'll look smaller or it'll look too dark and then it'll kind of sink. It'll draw your eye's attention to it and it'll look lopsided. So I spent a lot of time going back and forth on that. And I just really wanted this piece to not be overloaded with details, but have enough that you get the general idea of it and your brain kind of fills in the rest. Um, normally I really like doing details in clothing. It can take a long time, but I have always really enjoyed rendering the folds and the highlights because for me it didn't seem that difficult, whereas I know that for other artists, uh, folds and <laughs> tiny little details like that are just pain in the neck so I really I really just wanted to take my time so I took a break from this piece and I came back the next day hoping to get it all done with and just make sure that I could take the time I wanted with it and again I didn't want to go too overboard I didn't want to go into every tiny detail I kind of like it where it's a little bit more relaxed. It makes it a little bit easier on the eyes to not have to take in everything. But hopefully, you know, someday I will take all the time to do that because that is miraculous for artists to take the time. I know there are some people out there that will literally spend weeks and up on just one drawing where they do like the tiniest little things like peach fuzz on somebody's face or adding the texture of the shirt into the clothing and having all the reflections and they'll do photo bashing where they take like textures and real photos and they kind of blend it into it and you know the whole concept art kind of thing and it will take them a long time and I really admire people for doing that because for me it's actually kind of hard to work on a piece and stop and want to come back because often I know that if I stop I most likely unless it's for like a project where other people are depending on it like my YouTube channel um, if it's just for me I will probably not finish it like even if I see it I'll be like ah, oh, it's it's okay I'll just leave it I don't need to finish it and I start something else which if I actually got around to finishing all of that I probably would have about 10 times more drawings but you know as long as I'm getting the practice in uh, I think it's all right now here I started adding in the background and I was starting to do the perspective and I saw all the background with like the mine and everything and I just 
felt like it was gonna take away too much from the main focus in the front and so I kind of liked it where it was just the sky in the background the light gradient and added some more glow and tiny bits of highlights to make it just right to my liking and here we are finally Dwight Ennis thank you so much you guys for watching this video make sure to like it and to subscribe for more content like this and this is my last video of November, so see you guys in December. Alright, bye guys.